So, hey guys, um, I heard about this bug when you get to the great sewers and you get the grand corpse to spawn and get the severed hand. As you can see, it's like hovering there, it's already dropped for me, but I can still get it. Easy peasy, get a few more, it still works like a charm. So, the conditions are to have this weapon, you get it from Geisha killing the corrupted ravager, but you gotta like the conditions right so you have to shoot him when he asks you to kill the doe then you have to let him kill the doe during the mid fight and then you get the thing you need to get this weapon right so doing jisha and getting this you can do it in adventure mode it's completely fine get the gun or get the archetype uh, i think it's called engineer you can get this in nerud and i don't know how it works but you should be able to do it with a flamethrower? I don't know. There's a tutorial on it. There's a guide on it, of course. So what everyone tells you to do is pick up these hands, right? And you get them in the inventory and it's fine. And they tell you to inspect it, grab the ring. It can be two different rings. It doesn't have to be Ring of the Damned. Apparently it can be one more. I haven't found it. I haven't re-rolled enough. But you get Ring of the Damned here. And because you have it, you gain scraps. So let's see. I have 141,000... 780 and click it get it and 250 scraps right because it's a ring yeah this is what they have been doing and they've been like picking up this and uh, then they've been doing it in threes and everybody's been opening them and that will certainly get you some money but it takes nine eight minutes if you do five seconds each ring because you can't do it very fast it takes that long to actually open like a hundred of these okay and that's just two magazines so i found a different way to do it which will is much more efficient you get a lot more out of it plus not only do you get infinite money you get infinite relic dust so as you can see, I have 3000 relic dust plus here. And if you also look at my relics, my relics are every single one is a polished plus. I did not have this before. I had them all on like solid or below that some of them, but they're all polished. Now, how to get these to higher rank, you can get them quite high is you need to level your account wide archon level or archetype level so your classes and they also increase in um, quality the higher difficulty you play so if you go to apocalypse mode and you have everything every class maxed out you will be able to get up to mythic in this apparently which is completely cool i will do that eventually but if you want the relic dust to actually get these upgrades or infinite money to get the upgrades and do whatever you want do this okay now as you can see i did a mag that's 50 and while if you stand close enough to these and shoot straight up yeah you can interact with them you can pick them up as they drop that will prevent any lag that will potentially build up if you shoot too many so just Shoot and spam your interact button and it'll be fine. I will be grabbing, say, 450, I think. So let me shoot a bit and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so that should be enough. Now, I do have some disclaimers I'm going to point out that you should not do. Like, if you do this in multiplayer, they might get disconnected after you reach 300, 400 of these in your inventory. Uh, it's best to do it in solo mode because you don't have any online interaction then. If you press I, you'll find some lag. I have a really beefy computer, so now I have over 400 of these. How high can you go? Uh, I've done 1350 of these. I do not recommend going over 450 or 500 because you will just see when you hand these in, you will lag like crazy. Okay, so to get from here to where we're supposed to go, we just liquid essence, get the fuck out of this place. Doesn't matter if you picked this up before, so far it does not disappear. You can always come back here and shoot him more. I hope they do not patch this out, because it's such a fun thing for people that just hate grinding scraps and feel gatekeep might. 
Same with the relics. So, go to Lozum. You have killed Nightweaver, or uh, is at Nightweaver. You don't actually need to kill her, you just only need to get to the Tormented Asylum. It's not a requirement to actually kill the boss for this. Just get her and you'll be fine. You just need to get to this area. Meaning, you probably need to sacrifice, right? Her heart, or the first victim's heart. You get here, and lo and behold, this might lag a bit. I recommend turning off the flashlight. This area is buggy as hell. And lo and behold, you can now hand in the hearts. Now, if you don't, if you have low ranks in relics, you will get a random chance to upgrade your relics. They will not reach above solid in this area, but every single one is five relic dust. Five relic dust sells for fifteen silver, I believe. Or one relic does sells for 15 silver each. I don't remember. But yes. So as you can see, this is extremely laggy. The more you have in your inventory, this is actually pretty good, decent. When I had 1,300, I was looking at still frames way worse than this. And this is just 400 something. So just go through it. Just hold the mouse over. Don't click the mouse, just use the space button, or uh, well, if you control this, it's gonna be uh, even easier for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should probably speed this up, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. Now we are at 5000, so what you actually want to get to is 6666. Thousand, because that is the soft cap you can vendor to a vendor. Uh, it's actually a funny number. I don't know if this whole thing is intentional, but I'm gonna go and get that for you, and we can watch it again. So I accidentally uh, sold, and before I was recording again, I am a dum dum. But yes, I sold. Uh, it's hard to dis prove it now. I mean, I can. Uh, I have to buy it back to the max. Oh god. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that again. But what you sell is literally six thousand six hundred sixty-six. So you just do all the numbers, and it sells for ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety scraps, and that's how I got this up again. And I bought all her galvanized and all this stuff, and yeah, no. You know where to find I built it up, and I fucked it up. But that being said, I wanted to keep some relic dust. You can sell all of it, of course, but if you want infinite relic upgrades in this game, go to Drell with these relic dusts that you can have. You don't need just scraps. Like the, they have only displayed, right? Here, you buy it simply from Relic Dust. Now, I have upgraded all mine to Polished, and this world is currently on Veteran, so I don't have any chance of getting any upgrades anymore. I can do hundreds of these, and I will just get back some 5 Relic, uh, relic Dust. But what you can do to get up to Polished, you can go into your Adventure Mode. So, this campaign is on Veteran, I have low archetype levels, I haven't leveled it that much. But what you can do is, you can go into Adventure Mode. Uh, this one is just on Survivor, I'm exploring the route to get stuff. But you reroll into any world, doesn't matter. Maybe you're looking for the Great Sewers and stuff. Looking for a Great Roll, maybe do this one again. Uh, but you put it to Nightmare Mode, or Apocalypse if you unlocked it. You go out into the world once, and then you come back to the ward. The ward will now be a nightmare or apocalyptic tier world. This will be true um, for him as well. So he will now have a much higher drop rate for relic fragments that will actually upgrade what you have. I've tested this, it seems to work. I got everything up to polished. When I was in my veteran world now, I could only get up to solid and maybe one polish, but it was not worth it. I spent over 3000 relic fragments or relic dust on it. 
But yeah, no. So, spending all of it. In, in just nightmare mode, I got everything up to polished. I can get it up to polished plus four, at least. But it will cost a lot. So, doing it on apocalyptic or leveling up your archetypes will help you get higher relic fragments. So, yeah. That is it. That is how you get infinite money, infinite relic dust, and infinite upgrades for your relic fragments. I thank you for watching, and yes, I'll see you next time if I make a video. I am looking for some secrets, and I think I found one that I haven't been uh, on taped just yet or recorded anywhere yet i'm still exploring it we'll see see you next time uh, bye, -bye.